special thanks to all of you that have been with us on this journey, working on your own financial situation, working towards building financial intimacy with your partner, your spouse, your wife. Very beautiful. All right. We'd like to celebrate all of you on this journey. You know what? Five years from now, it will show. It will show. The investment you're making, the discipline, the consistency will show. And you will have yourself to thank. Okay? So keep at it. Uh, when you start out something, it, it, it seems like nothing is working. I mean, I, I read the book some years ago that talked about the Chinese bamboo tree. You keep, you plant it, you keep watering it, you keep watering it. Nothing happens for six years. But what happens? In the sixth year, what happens is that it grows up to 90 feet tall. Why? Because while you're watering it, the root is going deep down and down and going around just looking for resources and water and all that. The sixth year, or fifth or sixth year, shoot up to 90 feet tall. So sometimes what you're doing might not be visible, but it's a matter of time. Once it becomes visible, everybody will now start to say, oh, you guys are this, you guys are well, pay the price, okay? And let your success do your talking, okay? So now about finance, someone asks us a question, say, how much should we save? You know, we really like that question because it's not, it means that you are interested in starting the journey of saving. That's really good. So, but the true answer to that is that it depends on your situation. So if you are in a situation where you're starting out afresh, you know, you just got married, you know, whether you have debts, all that, there are many things that determine on how much you save. So we always remember, we always recommend start from what you are comfortable at. So if it's 3% of your income, household income, just be consistent with it. Automate it and just automate it. Well, what I mean by that is set it up in such a way that you don't have to think about it. Once the income lands in your account, it just moves to a different account. Okay, so automate it maybe through direct order, direct debit, whatever works in your country. Just do that. All right, from there, you can now gradually move on and progress. Keep pushing the envelope. Um, I read that the Chinese people, an average Chinese person saves 45% of their income. All right, that's really good. That's why you see some culture have a better saving culture than others. Some of other culture are consumption focused, some other are investment focused. So just start with what you're comfortable with. Uh, I also read a book by, uh, I mean, some of you may have seen this book called uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. He said, pay yourself 10% first. All right, so whatever works for you, I'm trying to just give you the, uh, the large figure, the small figure, find yourself in between and find what works for you. So but the key thing there is start, automate it, Another thing that some other people, of course, I'm not a financial expert, so I would recommend you get seek the counsel of a sort of financial expert, you know, um, that will look at your personal, your particular situation and give you the appropriate um, advice that will be relevant to you. I'm just speaking generally and sharing what works for us. Okay? So another thing is that some people will say if you have a huge debt, so let's say you have a huge credit card debt, for example, you know, and you are paying maybe like 20% or, you know, you have a, you borrowed from the bank or from someone and you're paying 20%, you know, it's very important for you to focus more on clearing that debt because whatever interest you have in your saving is going to be wiped out. All right. Some other people will say, at least see, have something that you're saving because see, there is something about saving. I, I don't understand it, you know, but I think it's more of a psychological principle. Once you begin to save and put something aside, it just happens that more resources begin to gravitate towards you. So I think that money flows in the direction of the person that is managing it well and flows away from the person that is abusing it. All right, so that's basically what it is. So that's why it's called currency. It flows, constantly flowing. It flows. That's why you hear some people who say, take away, take away everything I own and give me, put me in a place where nobody knows everything, nobody knows anything about me, I'm going to reproduce it. But they know something. They know the system that works with money they will reproduce it faster than they did the first time. So, whatever you will do, just start saving. Keep, in, keep, keep, keep at it until you see the results. Someone said, I'll, I'll finish by saying this, you know, the Chinese bamboo tree, you sow it, you plant it, it nothing happens in the first six years. But in the sixth year, it grew up to 90 feet. So keep at it. It's a matter of time. Your results begin to do your talking for you. I hope that helps. Bye for now.